Welcome to SharePoint Pittsburgh. My name is Caroline and I will be introducing you to Lesson 2, Users, Lists, and Views. Today we'll be continuing with our fictitious company, Happy Scoops, the ice cream shop, or shops rather. We'll be adding users, we'll be adding and editing lists, and we'll be adding views. First, we'll be adding users. In order to do this, we will log into the server, add users via Active Directory users and computers, and later we'll be working with users in SharePoint. Second, we'll be adding and editing lists. First, we're going to create an ice cream flavors list, then we'll be adding columns, and then later we'll be, adding, we'll be editing columns. Last, we'll be adding views. We'll answer a few questions such as what are views, what types of views exist, and why do we use views? Then we'll be creating views for our flavors list and then we'll be changing between those views. I'm going to hand this over to Leo who will be teaching you lesson two. Thank you Caroline and welcome back everyone to uh, SharePoint Pittsburgh. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is log into our SharePoint server. That's SP twenty ten dot next star dot local. We finally got around to creating that uh, virtual machine um, or downloadable package that contains everything that we're doing that the SharePoint installation inside of it. So now you're actually going to be able to go to uh, SharePointPittsburgh.org and actually download this virtual machine so that you can follow along uh, with these lessons. So the first thing we're going to do is log in. Type in nextara backslash administrator, and the password once again is SharePoint123, and then enter, and now we're logged in uh, to the home screen. Now, before we dive into SharePoint, we actually have to create a few new users. Uh, we actually do this by logging into the server. Uh, for those of you um, who are working with SharePoint, you probably won't have to do this. Uh, you'll actually probably talk to your system administrator at work to create these users for you but uh, for now we're actually going to dive right in and get into the nitty-gritty so we'll go ahead and click on the uh, VM player VMware player and then uh, it says to press control out delete but we actually can't do that uh, it'll actually control out delete our machine what we want to do is go up to VM send control out delete and then we'll see uh, that that sends it to the VMware player now, for some of you, you may have a uh, Nextstar administrator already logged in here. If you don't, you may see this screen. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, type in our uh, username, which is domain backslash, uh, you know, username format. So it's Nextstar backslash administrator. And then we go ahead and put SharePoint123 and hit enter and it'll log us in. Now as soon as this thing loads up, we're going to go ahead and click on Start and then uh, go to Active Directory Users and Computers. Uh, but for that we'll probably see the, uh, the server uh, administrator page pop up, or the server manager. So we'll just go ahead and close out of that. And then we'll go ahead and click Start and go to Active Directory Users and Computers. Now, if you're not familiar what uh, Active Directory is, is uh, for all Microsoft networks, uh, the main server that controls all the user accounts and security is called a domain controller. And essentially, that's what uh, this is right here. It's, it lets us create and uh, edit all the users. We're going to create five different users. And you go to right click, click on New, and then go to User. And then in the first name, we're going to go ahead and put in a name you're probably already familiar with if you watched the last, uh, the last episode, Candy Caroline. And for the username, we're going to put candy.caroline. And again, for, uh, for all of our no user notation, we're actually going to be uh, doing first name, dot last name, depending upon the resolution that you're watching this video as at. You may not see the dot. Hit next. We're going to uncheck user must change password at next login. We're going to check user cannot change password and password never expires. And for every user and for every single account that we're going to be uh, creating and or using uh, at SharePoint Pittsburgh on this uh, VMware player, 
we're going to go ahead, our virtual machine, we're going to go ahead and create that SharePoint 123 with a capital S. So we'll hit next. We're going to create another user. Right click, new user. And we're just going to go ahead and put in all the, uh, the information. This person is also named Candy, Candy Sue. So candy.sue. Next. SharePoint 123, SharePoint 123. And again, user cannot change the password, and password never expires. So we're just going to double check that we have all the correct users. So we have Candy Caroline, Candy Sue, we should have Jelly Bean Jane. Raspberry Rob and Very Very Val. Perfect. So now that we have all of our users in the domain, which will actually automatically get put into uh, SharePoint, we're going to go ahead and close out of this and we're going to go ahead and log off. And simply just, you can do that just by going to start log off just like a regular Windows machine. Okay, great. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, create the flavors list. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on stores. And then if you remember how to create a list from last time, we're going to go to site actions, more options. And this will pop up, you know, all the different options. I'm going to go ahead and filter by list. And I want to create a custom list and it'll be called flavors. Go to more options. I'm going to flavors of ice cream and then hit create. Now as soon as this processes we should see a list on the left hand side of the screen in our quick links bar if you remember that. Perfect. Now if we go ahead and click add new item if you recall from last time the only thing that we're going to see is the title. So that, that's no good because we want to add a few other different columns. So what we're going to do is go ahead and go up here to list settings and we're going to add uh, a few columns here. And you do that by just click going down here and clicking create column. Okay. The first column is going to be um, seasonal. And that's the, if some, some special ice creams that only occur during the season. Um, and that's what that column is for. So we'll go ahead and click, that's a checkbox, that's yes or no. Seasonal ice cream. Hit OK. Perfect. So now we're going to go ahead and create another column. And we're going to go ahead and create selling price. And that's going to be a currency. Description selling price. Uh, what we're going to do is we want to inf require that this column contains information. Uh, we don't want to enforce unique values. That means that no two ice creams could be the same and that definitely uh, they definitely could be the same. And then we go ahead and click OK. And you'll actually see the columns being added right here. So we have title, seasonal, selling price. So now we want to create a few more columns. So we want to go ahead and create purchase price. And that's also a currency. Description purchase price. And we want to enforce uh, that it has a value or require it has a value. Hit OK. And we have two others, which will be um, the start. date for seasonal ice cream and we're not going to enforce it that uh, requires a value and we will have to add the uh, date later um, and let's see here and then we're going to go ahead and add one more end date of seasonal ice cream and then it's going to be, it's a, it's a date, but we're going to go ahead and, and show you how to edit that.